Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're going to be playing Osiris New Dawn. This is a game by Phoenix Fire Entertainment, and uh, it is an early release, or early access. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And we are a human who is embarking on a mission to survive on a new founded planet. And, um... Currently, like I said, it is early access, so some things are not in the game as of yet. You can play um, as pirates uh, in multiplayer, but again, for me, I don't have internet access at home, so I am going this route. So first off, we're going to go ahead and be a scientist, of course. Um, we can customize them, different colors. I'll probably do, um, let's say, this light blue... Then we have a dark blue, and then we'll finish off with this really, really light blue. I guess that'll work. And then we'll go orange <laughs> for, for the coloring, which is these lights as well as the light up here on uh, his head. So anyway, name is going to be Cypher Deck. And, um, so you have a private universe, and, you, of course, you can share in multiplayer with your friends, but for, again, single player. My universe name is just going to be called, um, Dexatron 5, or just 5. Dexatron 5. There we go. Now, Alien Infested, I'm going to probably bring that down to Dangerous. Not going to do Casual, but I will do Dangerous. Just because the aliens in this game are absolutely nuts. Some of them are not going to attack you right away. Others are just going to all all out attack you and kill you ASAP. I'm not going to touch any of the other stats on here. We'll go ahead and uh, continue to create. So controls are WASD, E to put away your weapon, R to reload, F for action, C for I don't know... <laughs> Um, but we're on Proteus to third moon from Theseus something. And yay. <laughs> That's always a great thing to be greeted by is a alien right next to you. Okay, so this guy, this guy right here, he is our personal uh, robot. Um, we'll go straight up to him and we'll say first off we want him to follow um, and then we can bring up our multi-tool and we can rename him and we'll just call him um, Lark I guess L let's do capital don't know what that stands for but we'll just use that and I guess I mean he has blue I guess we can keep him blue because we're blue and uh, we can also put things in his inventory. So you want to make sure that you have things out of his inventory before you... Um... Oh, we have an issue. Suit, contaminate, or... Oh, okay, we have um, the glasses broken. So go ahead and press 3. We'll get our duct tape out. And we'll <laughs> fix that up. Um, Alright, so everything is coming back online. Everything's good. But yeah, we can put things on a robot, but we need to make sure that we take them off before, say, we leave the game. Um, I have a piece of paper in front of me, um, because we have a map that gives us our location, our latitude and longitude. We've gotta learn it, I guess. North is where you're actually moving, and then we'll base it off of that. But I'll write down locations of, like, ores. So, uh, this is only one plutonium here are there more over the hill there are not so um that's not that's not a problem though because if we set uh, once we get further into the game we can set our robot to mine this and he won't mine the actual ore but he'll mine near it and that way uh, this ore stays stable allowing him to constantly harvest that ore so let's go ahead and put our tools away for a moment. Um, we also have ore over there. We'll check that out in a minute. But besides starting with him, we also start with a few other things. I also see ore over there. Also this lance. Oh, there's another um, plutonium there. 
Uh, this landscape is amazing. That looks like a Saturn-ish planet. Uh, we have a blue dwarf style sun. And just the landscape is crazy. Um, also, atmospherics are off the chain of this game. Meaning that, um, that when it's raining, it's going to rain crazy. If it's... Um, Okay, we have another box, okay. Uh, yes, we'll pick that up. If it's um, if it's a dust storm, it's going to be also crazy. And you can see he's just bringing up dust by him, hovering over that area. Us walking, I don't think it... Yeah, it puts tracks on the ground. Of course, those will go away and uh, so on. So we can see where we've been, but... Um, it's like normal sand. Uh, it will blow over and our markings will go away. Now it looks like a copper or something uh, yellowish uh, over there. So that'll be important to us. Potatoes, of course. This is kind of <clears throat> kind of like a Martian style game. Like the Martian, not a Martian style game. <clears throat> Alright, so multi-tool is not something that we'll use a lot. Or we'll only use that to access a robot. Um, I think this probably needs to be number three. Come on, map. <clears throat> there we go. That is going to stay there. No, we'll go ahead and put this here. Patch tape probably won't be that important. Get our gun out. Um, the only reason I'm choosing this gun is because... Um, it apparently doesn't take ammo. It says a uh, small light weapon fires a charge blast and recharges automatically. Does not require additional ammo. These ammo boxes here are for this specific gun. So we're going to not deal with that. All right. So we got everything. Uh, we can now press V because that is part of our mission. And we can see how weird we look from the outside. <laughs> um, by the way, you can see it's turning orange, and that's because of the fact that any any dirt that uh, rustles up, and also in sandstorms, the dirt will pile onto our clothing. So even though it's, we have it set up as a bluish color, it will get even more and more orange. So it's going to be interesting as far as that goes. So let's go ahead and get back out of that. First thing it wants us to do is build the inflatable dome. The dome of awesomeness. And since I've seen several resources near us already, I think this will be a fine place to go ahead and set it up. So we can right click it here, or we can go into structures here. And we can say we want this. And that right there is the door. You can use the left and right mouse button to turn it. And you can see its area of effect, or the area that it's going to be uh, taking up so you can't build within that green area if you build anything else around it um i think right here is going to be fine so i'm going to go ahead and press f and then i'm going to hold f for it to place it and once it gets to 100 percent i'll let go and there we go there's our home now we're going to go ahead and go inside and we have a bed in here we um, can save by pressing F, but we have five minutes to, before we can use it again. Have 25 health that we get whenever we save. So if we were hurting, it would actually heal us. But uh, we only have, we have to wait five minutes between each use. So if for some reason we don't have another way to heal ourselves, <laughs> we might be stuck in here for a, a little bit of time. So anyway, the next thing it wants us to do We'll go ahead and press M, is search the planet for the right materials to start building a uh, depository uh, utility. The depository utility is an outdoor storage unit that can be used to store... I'm sorry, didn't mean to pause for dramatic uh, purposes. I was just clearing my throat. Uh, store materials and allow the droid to drop off materials gathered. So once we make the depository... Um, our, our robot will be able to actually, um, will be able to actually harvest for us. So, um, let's go ahead and go in here. We're going to be going for utilities and we need to make a depository. We need iron 20. We need aluminum 20. 
<clears throat> sorry and um so these are all the things that we'll be able to make of utilities uh solar panels satellite dish structures are going to be crazy i'm really excited for this we can make furniture these are where we make our science tables crates and all kinds of stuff and one thing i wanted to show or at least you'll see is it looks like there's handprints on on your um on your visor and that is that <laughs> that's something that they add into the game i actually wiped down my monitor because i thought it was my screen no because i don't touch my screen anyway i don't have a touch screen um it is in the game um all before i start mining this i want to look around make sure okay the, the, there is another aluminum deposit so I, I just want to make sure that I'm not taking all the resources of a certain type um, because those can be used. Um, they can be mined rather um, by a robot without um, using so much of, um, of the resource. So 20, uh, now we need to find iron. Okay. Um, I thought I saw a resource over here, so we'll definitely check it out. That's lead. No clue what we, we would use lead for. Um, we can press M to get rid of that. Um, there's iron right there. What is lead used for? Let's check in. Um, is, let's check in here. Um, is there anything in here that would use lead? Aluminum, rubber... I mean, maybe it's used in making certain components. I don't really know. Um, this is lead also. Either way, we know that we're near different deposits of different types. And that's really what's important uh, for our first base is that while well, we're probably going to have to travel to find... Okay, where'd it go? Okay. While well, we're going to have to travel to be able to do certain things in, in our world... We won't have to travel far. There are a few things that we are going to definitely need. Um, one of those is a beacon, but we can't make a beacon until we have another thing. So while the crafting system is um, is rather module, meaning that um, it's rather easy to, um, to do as long as you have the right materials, that it is a tree system, meaning that... Um, that you can't move on to create another item without having a item before it. So this box here can uh, has to be done before we can make the next item because we need to be able to um, store enough resources for us to be able to um, to make the next items. So anyway, we're gonna go in here. We should have enough. Twenty twenty. Yes. Utilities. We'll go up here. To Repository, and I'm gonna put this in sideways. I think kind of like that. That way, our robot has no problems getting to it if it will let me. There we go. Come on. Right there seems to work. It's because he's in the way. Come on, come over here. <laughs> come on, buddy. All right. So I'm just trying to make sure this is nice and lined up with the center. There we go. Okay, I, I understand the hint. I don't need it twice though. All right, so we have a depository and now I could have him mine things that we need. So first off, I need to put things away. If I die, I wanna make sure that I don't lose things. So we're gonna go ahead and put all of our food, water, gun ammo other resources um bandages and all that in there i'm not going to worry about that probably should do the same with that and i think that's good for right now i i don't plan on killing anything unless i absolutely have to so the next thing we need to make is a forge and uh let's let's go ahead and have you hey buddy i want you to stay Received the order to stay. He's going to stay there. We're going to go ahead and go inside. 
hopefully there's a light oh there's a single light in here <laughs> that's fantastic all right and you can see all the smudges on his on the on the glass so weird <laughs> they put it in there uh, but it's only whenever it's raining it's um like if you had um heat maybe that would go away i don't i don't know so um the thing we need to do right now is we need to go ahead and see what we need for a forge so we need iron which we have access to plutonium which we have access to titanium is one of those things that we're going to have to try to find and probably have a robot mine it for us for a while like get a get a huge amount and then um while he's doing that um actually yeah titanium is what i'm talking about while he's doing that, then I'll get enough resources to make another one of these. I want to get to a point where, I, I, again, I don't know what kind of control I have over my robot. But um, I would like to be able to have um, several of these and like two or three resources go into each of these. So we'll see how that goes. But for now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead until I find the resources we need. Also, another thing that we're going to need most likely is magnesium. Um, so that's another thing I'm going to try to find. Again, I'm going to write down locations of everything I find. That way we can always get back to them and always send our robot with uh, to harvest them. Anyway, guys, I'll be back in a minute. Well then, <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing this. Uh, <laughs> so I was walking along this ridge. I'm not very far from home, actually. And this this monster, that thing was massive. Jumped from that crater all the way over to here. Actually, for science. Only for science. Am I going to try that again? Look at that big fossil looking thing that's going, that's stressing, uh, stretching across. I got to wonder if this, that thing that just um, tried to kill me is one of those things, but smaller. Look at how big that thing is. I mean, the, the ground rumbles when it's uh, going to attack you. So you at least have a second to move out of the way. But that was absolutely nuts. But there's rare ores down there, I think. Oh, oh, that was me. <laughs> Scared myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You do not want what? I mean, that's probably gonna come from over there now. Over to here. Hopefully, I only have to. Uh, only have to dodge it once. That would be nice. Don't you, don't you make that noise to me? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What are you? Magnesium. Oh boy, we we found the mother load right here. Okay, so so what we're gonna do is first off. I need to I need to do this so fast. Number two, we are at negative magnesium. Is that it's negative three four, negative three point four, positive four point zero. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say, um, robot, uh, mine, I'm going to press N, I'm going to tell him to mine right here, F, and he's going to mine, and every few minutes I should see some kind of notification that he has dropped magnesium in the box. That was the scariest thing, but very, very much well worth it. That was crazy. 
All right, so now what we need to do... <laughs> look at that. Look at how big that thing is. That thing that attacked me, it had... Um, so the mouth was wide open like that. And then it had like this spiky tongue as well. I wonder if there's things along that ridge like a box or something that's like a hidden thing. And maybe you have to be able to beat whatever this is. Look at that. Look, there's my guy going back to our base. That's cool. So if I get lost, I can come back over to this hole here and find my find my little guy. Hopefully it won't get killed or anything along the way. So look at this massive thing. <laughs> Just and you can see the holes through through the, the different vertebrae. Just go up to here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is just crazy. All right. I'm going to try to stay away from that as much as I can. Right now, what we're doing is we're trying to find... Oh, I even I completely forgot what we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for titanium, right? Titanium. We're looking for everything, to be honest. Um, ugh. What's that? You see that across the way? Those are solar panels in that. Is that a. Is it. Am I. He, is it hot outside or. Am I. Oh, it's fogging up. There's a. And I can't even see it now. That is crazy. Okay, so there's some kind of thing over here. Satellites up there. Or, not satellites, but, um... Things over there. Okay, wait. See all those markings? The hand markings? That is... Weird. <laughs> they, uh, they put all that in the game. Alright, so... We're looking for titanium still, but we also want to check out these buildings that that we saw. Is that them over there? I guess it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, you can't jump over the fog. And we're we're now like a thousand, almost a thousand meters. See that alien moving across the sand there? Gotta check out that building. No, there aren't NPCs, like NPC players in the game that I know of. Oh, there's something cool up there. I wonder if that's, um... Like gases or something coming from the core of the planet. Just the just the outline of things just looks really cool. That reminds me of something I've seen in a movie too. Just the way that thing looks. Like the um the um the end of the world movies, that kind of thing. Just the way it's walking is ugh, freaking me out. All right, so I check this out because it doesn't have some kind of creepy monster <laughs> walking around it. It's negative fifty. 
degrees Celsius and it's dropping. So on the left hand side you'll see that it says C that's uh, Celsius um, the the big bar is the outside temperature the uh, small bar is the inside temperature the same with PSI uh, hydrogen and nitrogen and then the health uh, of the suit and health of the of the person I think the health of the person is the inside green health of the suit is the outside green all right can I do anything with this look how massive this thing is and this is something that we're able to build um utilities look at that this is the same thing I really wish we could get the um, the resources from it but I don't think that's even a possibility okay all right get get me out of here all right um The, the way the sand kicks up is amazing. And no wonder there's dust storms just because of how much dust it does kick up. Um, I haven't seen notification from my from my robot lately. I guess we'll we'll see if uh, if it shows uh, look at that. Look at would if you look in the sun like over on that left hand side you can see all the spots yeah I'm filling my screen it's not my screen it's it's in the game just so weird that that kind of thing that's the realism kind of aspect of it because that's how it would be I guess and if you were on a planet you touch your your visor all the time readjusting it and and so on This doesn't look right. This looks like it's abandoned. Yeah. This, I think, but it's powered. That's what the, the solar panels, they must be still powering this thing. The problem is, is that, I mean, you can't really do anything with it. There's another one of those things over there. Um, I wonder if each one of them has a different rare resource so we'll definitely have to check that out um write down the coordinates if we do find anything i mean there's diamond in the, in the game as well things like that yeah panels are put peeled off of here i don't even know if the glass is there i mean we could check what is that Is that a thing? Is that a thing I can loot? Nope. That would have been cool. That would have been cool if that was something I could loot. So it doesn't look like it can loot it. The glass is still stable in this, but I mean... It has no air chamber blocking it, but um, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and continue um, continue waiting just to make sure the weather is um, clears up. Okay, so I died, <laughs> but I was able to get a lot, a lot of locations. Um, I found titanium, copper, plutonium and carbon um so i was able to get those i believe in the area that i was at i was also able to find more plutonium and so on we go ahead and press l turn that off and um anyway so i think what we're going to do is in the episode here and then in the next video we're going to make sure that we grab our guns and uh, we're going to go ahead and take out some monsters i was able to take out two of them but I had at least five monsters on me. One of them was a gnat. And the gnat, what it does is it throws all four legs at you. 
and then the mouth is on the bottom of its body. So, <laughs> uh, while I was being attacked by uh, the first three, I was able to take out two of them, and I was pretty comfortable with it. But the last one, I just could not handle it. Um, but, let's go ahead and see how our uh, drone did. Holy cow. <laughs> um, I would say we have enough magnesium for a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, that is absolutely nuts. Okay, so what we need to do... Oh, here it comes. Here he comes. Um, first off, we need to go ahead and get him to follow us. Okay, so he received the, the uh, request. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the multi-tool F for inventory. He is not showing any inventory. That's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, but yeah, I think what we're going to do is uh, end the episode here. And I will talk to you next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.